Very nice, Sue. Thank you. My first guest today is a self-admitted pedophile. Self-admitted pedophile, and up until a month ago, he ran a website for other pedophiles describing how to find girls in parks to take pictures of them, rape them, avoid the police. This guy could have been in the park taking pictures of your little girls and putting them on a website and so other pedophiles could look at them. In my opinion, this guy is a monster. And because he ran this website, and everybody knows who he is, he is being hunted wherever he goes. Exactly. So are you ready to meet this guy? Yeah. All right, here he is, Jack McClellan. Thank you. You can understand the audience yeah. reaction yeah, to you. Yeah. Now, first of all, I want to look into the eyes of a monster, so I'd like you to take your sunglasses off. Well. The only, the only reason I wear the sunglasses is because of the lighting. I, my eyes are... I'll tell you this. Either you take those sunglasses off, or I'm going to take them off for you. Mark, I can't, I can't, I can't. put them in your pocket. I think if you are out there saying that you're a pedophile, then you should be able to look everybody in the eye and not hide behind those sunglasses, okay? Yeah! Fair enough. Now, you're a self-admitted pedophile, right? Yes. I just find girls more attractive than women. Um, that's, that's the gist of it. Uh. From what I understand, you're talking about girls as young as 3 years old to like 11 years old. What? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You have sexual attraction to these girls. It's not all sexual. Um, in fact, I wouldn't say the majority of it is sexual, but to be honest, there is a sexual element, yes. Do you think that this is a problem? Uh, In your own mind. I mean, we think that this is terrible, this is horrible. But in your mind, do you know what you're doing? Is, is it bad in your mind? Do you know in your soul that this is wrong? No, my, my conscience is clear. I, I've never broken the law. I mean, even you can ask the authorities in uh, California. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not asking about the law. We'll get to all that. Uh, but I'm saying inside you, yeah. you don't feel like some, some guiltiness, like this is bad, this is wrong, these are children, I shouldn't be doing this. But then you go and you make it easier for other pedophiles to do this? You uh, well, I'm really not doing anything. I'm, I'm not having sex with kids. Listen, uh, wait a second, okay. wait a second. You're running a website up until a month ago. Yeah. It says you're giving tips for other pedophiles. You don't see anything wrong with that? Well, I'm, I'm giving tips on how to enjoy children non-sexually and legally. Here's the damn thing about it. Being a pedophile is wrong. Now, you might not be able to control yourself. It's wrong. But then you go and you make it easier for other pedophiles to do this? You think it, at any level inside you, you don't feel this is wrong, that you shouldn't be doing this? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of rethinking everything. Um, I... If you're rethinking, then you know at some point that this is wrong. Well, uh... And you know, I promised Richard, my executive producer, I was going to come out and stay cool and calm for a while, but I can't. Yep. Yep. Now, you know, yep. Up on the screen here is his website, and on his website, he gave tips on rating the cuteness of little girls and where, where there was a police presence. Like, you could go to this park and there's all these little girls and you'll be safe because there's no police. This is what tips he's given to other pedophiles. Yesterday, 
uh, me and my executive producer, while we were going over your story and that you were going to be on the show, there was a woman on another channel talking about, you don't want to go out and take a baseball bat to you or something like that. And you know what I was thinking in my head? I honestly, the first reaction was, if you did that to my daughter, I would take a baseball bat to your head. <laughs> And I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you, Jack, any pedophile, because I'm telling you this, as a father, and I think every father and every mother that's out there that is trying to protect and love their children, they would feel the same way. And I would suffer any consequence because of my actions if you did anything to hurt my children. Now, this just came in. I was just handed this, and this is, uh, says the police are investigating allegations against you that you were in a girl's dressing room last month. What? Says this girl, says that she saw you after her nine-year-old daughter performed a solo dance, and you were taking pictures of her. Is that true? In California? I don't care where it's at. Well, I'm just, uh, the story, no, no, there's no. a story that no. you're hearing. So you're, you're, you're saying it's false. No, someone just pulled that out of thin air. Tell me some of the things you did do. Um, everything I do is, was pretty much public knowledge on the site. I, 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 well, you know what? These people don't know. So I want you to say and tell everybody watching the show in this audience the things that you did. I, I only I legal stuff on the site. Um, the photos were legal. Uh, the blogging was obviously protected by the First Amendment. Um, I gotta admit, I just want to punch you right in the face, but I'm not going to. Because, uh, you know, because what makes me angry about this whole story is that you have a sickness. You have a sickness inside you about this. But what gets me is that then you go and you help all these other sickos to do the same thing that you do. All, all I saw myself doing was with the site was just encouraging what I was doing. I, I was, Which I, is wrong. Well, I was just legally enjoying children at these, these events. Um, children are defenseless. Do you understand that? They look yeah, up yeah. to older people. They're trying they need people to protect, to love them. They cannot protect themselves. And you're going out and you're encouraging people to do bad things to children. No, I, I don't want to see anything bad happen to children. Then I, you wouldn't run that website. You say there's a code of ethics for pedophiles. Explain to us how is there a code of ethics for pedophiles? Um, just that everything has to be consensual, uh, no coercion. Uh... Children cannot be consensual. Do you understand it? Personally, I wouldn't do it. I mean, I, I wouldn't go all the way to sex. How can a three-year-old be consensual? Tell me that. Well, I mean. As long as the child can verbalize... Get off your ass! And tell... Get off your ass! Stand up! I just... I gotta say... You don't deserve to sit on my stage, you know that? You don't get it to me. Now, you know, let me tell you something, and I'll let you explain this code of ethics. In the Marine Corps, we had ethics and we had morals and we had integrity. And as policemen, we had morals and integrity and principles. And those things are about protecting this country and protecting our citizens, protecting them from people like you. Yeah. 